right. So, continuing where we left off. I wonder if I can get to 6.2 for the end of Come on, ghost. I need to die. Uh, and just come by. All you needed to do was come by. And now we get to die. See? Everybody win. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Resource farming. Ah. Hopefully, by all of it will give us the. Doges think we have foul. Get out of here. Get. Nice, nice, nice. Get out of here. Hoping that kind of mask order, I would, uh, yeah, an exit. Not, not gonna lie, but okay. Cool, huh? New overlay is actually really cool. New 
new overlay is actually really cool. I just gotta resize it a little bit. But can't keep up. Casimir, I'm so glad that chat is not visible during these YouTube things that I'm recording. Because can you imagine the YouTube comments I would get? Although I think they might agree or disagree, one of them. YouTube comments are sad. Hey there, Mindless Pixie, how are you doing? YouTube comment section is sad. I had so many elitists come and talk. Um, I love it. So nice. Thank you, Mindless Pixie. Wait, what, wait. What, what? Kimberly, what did you say? What, what, what? what did she say? Do I, do I even want to know what she said? Like, Thank you, regardless. 10 months in a row. I appreciate it. That's my wife. 10 month old pie. Yep. Yep, you're right. That's my wife. Yep. I heard the alarm. How's everyone doing this fine morning? And in the YouTube section, how are you all doing? Whenever you see this recording. No, they don't get to me. I think it's just like people, you know, trying to have a stab at it. And then they're like, oh, but how how can people have a problem with this fight? Listen, we don't all play Dark Souls all day every day. You know? We don't. I, I get it's a matter of figuring out patterns and just looking around it. Dark Souls 3 is the easiest one of them all. And I don't care. Like, I don't care. It makes, it makes, it makes no difference to me. I... Defeated my old nemesis. I feel great. I do I feel that I have accomplished You know an achievement in life. I never have to do it again. Never If I'm one of those people that say he never beat Dark Souls, I will I wear that with pride to Me that is not even remotely a problem if I've never beaten Dark Souls. Hey Guess what daddy? It's just one of those things I'm, I will, I'm fine with living without the bed. Nah. Again, I, I, I find, I find no satisfaction in Dark Souls. I don't. I find no satisfaction in Dark I would rather play Cuphead. At least Cuphead, like, it's purely based on my, on my skill. And not some BS attack pattern that's just like... You know, you, you can dodge perfectly, you can dodge the timing, then out of nowhere, it's just this random attack that, you know, is a rogue element. I get it's like part of the game, obviously, but just some random, ridiculous, stupid attack pattern that's just like, excuse me, I'm not supposed to do that, how's that fair? I get Dark Souls is not a fair game, obviously it's not meant to be a fair game, but like, stick to your patterns, man. And apparently there's a basilisk in this ridiculous series as well that's, that insta-kills you. And it's like all the way from Dark Souls 1 day. Although I will say, I, I, I see people tackling Dark Souls for like their first playthrough and they're fine. They don't get mad. I get mad because I get mad at my own skill. My own skill bracket is like potato here, so... This is why I stick to Stardew Valley. At least here, if I die, it's, it's my own fault, you know? That's some... Java thing. And yes, I do blame Java. You know why I blame Java? I was fighting a freaking Mimic. And Java just, like, pops up, beats me out of my game. It's like, hey, listen, we need to update. I'm like, you know what? You had the entire... The entire time to update. This is when you choose to update. Like... It's, it's, it's like the first sign that I should not be playing Dark Souls. Like at all. If Java is like trying to save, then you must know. Oh, praise the Pie Lord. Greetings, my lovely piling uh, Papa Bear. How dost thou be this fine morning? <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I had a pretty fun time doing that whole, you know, Pie Lord thing. 
I think I'm gonna make it like a permanent fixture. Don't know when. But I but I honestly think it could be like a fun fun time just like having my scepter and my my crown. But they're chilling here is the thing. I've got an idea for a TikTok that I'm gonna do either tomorrow or the day after. Um because I want it to be a more permanent fixture on, on TikTok than anything. Um and I think honestly it could be a whole bunch of fun to do. Let's go nerd and yeah. So anyway, how's everyone doing this morning? I hope you're doing pretty swell. It is Friday. So can we get some hell years up in chat that it's Friday? Oi. Enjoying uh, all my work. Art thou going to plow the fields of wheat for the pies celebration this week weekend? Give me a second, I'll just blow this guy up, get him to the after afterlife again. Give me a hell yeah! Give me a hell yeah! I said 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 give me a hell yeah! Don't fall off. Hi. Hi. Give me a hell yeah. I said give me a hell oh. yeah. Can I go sleep? You have to ask your mom that. Get that. Mm. <laughs> Hello, Stein. How you doing? Or oh, Elfstein. Which one is it? Okay. They have food. All their bowls are full. All their bowls are full. I don't know what he wants. Just elf? Okay. Just elf it is. Elf. Elf. Hello, Shoto, my son. How can he be lovable and that other lump is just so miserable the entire time? Okay, chat, I'd like to ask... No. <laughs> I, I'd like to ask, when did this uncle thing start? Since when did I become uncle? Oh, they haven't done anything good to deserve it. Every Friday, yeah. <laughs> okay, Shoto, you keep bumping up my mic. Away with you. Away, away. I need a new microphone. <laughs> if I, I look, I have been this microphone arm and um, Kruzian. Oh my goodness. Are we really doing Kruzian? Listen, I, the, I don't recall us making the deal of me having to call you Hruzian every time you call me Um, okay? But if that is the case, then I will call you Hruzian. Hruzian Ufutnar. There you go. Hey. Can I? Can I see? Are you finished now? No, we just started. <laughs> Have to go work? Have a good one, Papa Bear. May thou have a wonderful evening. We didn't make the deal, but I accept your offer. <laughs> okay, so from now on, the the interaction between you and I is if you is if you call me um, I call you Chris. On this day, we decree it. Okay. So saith the Pie Lord. Squire, bring me the parchment. Okay, Hrutzin. <laughs> I was looking for my headset. Meanwhile, it's on top of my head. But yeah, chat, I think the time has come for a new microphone. New boom arm. So if I if I show you um if 
what I mean by this. Nom 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 nom. Um. So I've got my little meteor over here, with my very old pop filter. This is like kind of nailed together. Like over here, you can see there's the screw. So this doesn't go any further than that because the microphone is like there. So yeah, I need a new boom arm. I need a new microphone. I need to get get with the times eventually, right? But that time is not right now. <laughs> that time is not right now. But yeah, I do eventually need a new microphone, need a new boom arm. Be a Kuez. They, my, my things are quite a bit old, so hopefully, hopefully one day we'll pick up a, uh, a good like sponsorship with Elgato or something. Um, and then smack the uh the microphone objective out the way right one day in the far future it would be cool though Can you imagine like tapping the sponsorship with uh elgato i am um, that should be sick but i think elgato only sponsors i i, I need to be careful about this because I'm sure they do more, but the only sponsors of which I know in South Africa that are sponsored is Grand Heinz, for sure. Yeah, go for it. I know, I know the thing is a little bit off. I know the thing is a little bit off. Yeah, the thing is, um, I wanna, I, I just want them to change it. I don't really want the bits. I want the followers and the subs only. So I have asked them to make, uh, over here on the left, there, your left, our left, yeah. Over here, just the, the, the followers, and then over there, just the sub. I don't, I don't really want the other stuff. I don't mind the donations and things. We've got a goal up there, which is at $11. I keep having to change that. And I do want, like, just underneath the actual, like, sub goal that we have. But I think I'm just going to, like, leave sub goals out of the way. Um, just purely because I just don't think we'll, we'll hit them. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to get, like, a, a thing that, um, like, kind of shuffles the names. But it does it consistently. I don't... Oh, my God, we got to be careful here. Um, I don't have a thing where it shuffles correctly. I would need to actually like take the time and to invest in that and make it look good. But for now, this is just like a trial run for this thing until they can fix it. Um, I like I like my old one too. I really do. But like this one, you got to keep it modern. Uh, not this. I just want to do this. No, 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 no. I, I, I did notice it my, myself, Kezi. I did notice it, like, when, when I was doing it. It's a great overlay, right? It is. And this, this artist is good at what they're doing. But they, you know, they, they're still trying. Um, and I wanted to give them, like, a shot. Uh, and because I'm with Illusion, you know, they, they kind of wanted me to use this. So, it's one of those thingies. But it looks good. Like, it's sleek, it's beautiful, the, the Just Chat one is perfect, feels brand new, feels very, you know, pie-esque. Kind of like what I wanted to do, like, ages ago. Um, and you know, the little rusty pile over on top just adds that little nuance of gloriousness to it. Um, which I like, you know, I like a little bit of me, you know, egotistical, maniacal, you know, that kind of thing. That just exudes me. <laughs> I, I I really do like it. The new overlay is rocking. It's rocking, baby. And it's simplistic in its style. I, I sometimes like a simplistic style in things. 
so um it like hits all the right markers for for what i want to do now now the next thing is to get animations done chat and uh i'm just waiting for some cash to come in um because um i want to get new follower animations i want to get new uh sub animations raid animations all those kind of things i do i want to i want to get new animations done um you know also kind of modernize that get brand new custom made animation so those are obviously going to cost a pretty penny um so i'm saving up for that um the other thing is there's a couple of stuff actually that i want to be doing um we can just put in all of this i legitimately don't need any of this that's maybe that um the other thing that i want to do is apart from the animations i wanna um i wanna do like a whole new dance screen but that that i'll likely do when we move i want to get a new or maybe a second camera um I want to get there's quite a bit of stuff I want to get I want to get um, new microphone new boom arm uh, oh well an actual boom arm gaming desk a chair I, I have a list of things that I want to get I just don't know if I'll ever get to getting them <laughs> most of the sub goals and things and the, and the, the things that come along they just they help with other things you know? Ah, lucky day. So yeah, one day. One day we'll get the ice. But that day is not right now. But we're gonna finish up this run. Um, because that is what I want to do. I want to finish up Study Valley Run. And then look at other types of content. Yeah. What? Why? We had water yesterday. What? What? On the bump. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. We water oh. That's lovely. Uh, so yeah, I have plans. Chat. I don't know whether we'll ever enact those plans. Um. But we shall see, aren't we? We shall see. I'll focus on all of my goals after the wedding. Right now, my main focus is the wedding. So, uh, we never went to go check the billboard. That's right. That's a problem. Clint could have posted something beautiful there and um, I didn't go and check. We really need that geode crusher. We, we really need that geode crusher. Um... Once we got that, we literally only have two items left to sort out, and then we're done. Then we're done, so... Ah, my flowers died. Thanks. The barrel in the middle of nowhere. Um, come on, give me that Geo Crush request, please. Will I ask, game? Will I ask, please? Yes, there we go. Slay 50 grubs. That's bugged. I'm being called. Give me a second, chat. Cold call. I hate cold calls. All right, off to the mines we go. Luckily, he gave me like 50 grubs, not even the hard one. Uh. Boop. What's everyone's weekend plans?
Okay, the mines are still on hard mode, right? Yeah. So Munas Muntlek for Solanka's Muntlek. Fair. Fair. Kita is having her bachelorette and her kitchen tea tomorrow, so I'm gonna get a call at like yeah by like five, six, seven o'clock. He's drunk a picture! Right. Forgot this is still hard mode. But it's okay. Don't really mind hard mode mines because we can deal fairly easily with this. If we stick to the upper floors. Is that grubs? Okay. Oh, those! So those will be at floor 4. Okay. Those are good. Okay. So these bad boys. There we go, yeah. That's the right one. Now, if those like spawn in in uh, quick succession, we should be fine with beating that quest. We need that quest done because like um, we need the geo crusher. We do. Hopefully, we can get the the scarecrow that we need, and then I think the only thing we still need then is the pumpkin lantern, and then we've crafted every single recipe in the game, and then we is Gucci. There's the exit, but I'm looking for grub. These are not grub, okay? These are not the enemies I'm looking for. I should actually change the mines to normal mode. Because then grub spawn from like level 20 onwards. But I mean, if we find them early enough, I'm not too particularly worried. And we just rerun the floors every time. So it's not like it's the... It's not like it's the, it's the toughest thing in the world doing this particular quest. So... Gotta be careful about our health, but that's minuscule in, in the long term, right? Especially when you slay like a beast. See? Like that. That's not even remotely worried. How many do we have left? 39. Bring it. Spawn all 39 on this floor, I dare you. You won't. No balls. Okay, the game literally can't do that, but you know what I mean. I think after this chat, I might reinvest into maybe some Ark Survival Evolve. Um, I don't know what's going to be next for me after Stardew Valley. Like, I want to do modern content, but at the same time, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, maybe return to CSGO or something, I don't know. Not a lot of people know, but I used to play CSGO on the channel for quite a bit of time. Um, oh, okay. That's fine. Could turn into a bee. I'm sure it counts. I hope. Okay, we are at 21. Let's see if I murder them. Does it count? It doesn't count. Oh, so you kind of... Oh, okay. That's a problem. Hello there, Inti. How are you doing? Oh, damn it. I need to slam out faster. Have I seen Lost Ark? I have seen Lost Ark. It's intriguing, honestly. So many cool games that are coming out that I want to I wanna tackle. But I also want to do like something consistent, something with a bit of competitive flair that is not Apex Legends or Valorant. Not something that requires a very steady internet connection, because that will have to be when I move. I'm preparing for PT in a few minutes. Ugh. PT's not so bad, is it? 
More grubbos, please. Thank you. Don't see any more. I think I saw someone all the way over that side, but. Remember, we're also like here for the radioactive ore and things like that. I have seen Lost Ark. I think Elden Ring is also something that a lot of people are looking forward to. What? What is it though? Is Elden Ring supposed to be like some kind of. Oh no! Why would you do that? Why would you do that, game? No, 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 no! Um. One set. One set. Um, Elden Ring, what, what is it exactly? Is it like a, like a Skyrim-esque type game? What version am I playing? This is vanilla. This is vanilla. These are just hard mode mine. Once you get to this point in the game, um, once you unlock the walnut room uh, of Kui, he gives you a, a, a quest that uh, tells you, Hey, listen, you gotta make it to the mines. And it's been filled with powerful creatures. Uh, you'll find that there's this radioactive ore everywhere, and, um, the mines get pretty decently hard. Not that much harder, but they, they do get quite a bit, um, beefy, and, um, you'll find certain enemies to be annoying. I will say that much, because some of these enemies definitely get a little bit of a, a different type of boost. Um, in terms of what they do. Come on, you gotta die before you change to a bee. Somehow these are bee larvae. Oh, before you could even transform, nerd. I wanna complete this quest today so that the next day we can craft the, um... Uh... What am I looking for? The geo crusher? So we can get that crafting recipe out of the way. Um... Then we're literally just waiting for winter, actually. Ah. And you can see, these enemies are weird. Okay, before he transforms! Ah, oh, it's too late. Damn it. I swear, I told them I'm not coming in 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20 times. Thank you, Panda Mode, for the lurk. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, Elden Ring. This, this is apparently like this new big hyped up game that's coming out what what is it actually about someone like give me a full breakdown bit by bit story wise content wise what what is this game going to be oh, i was kind of hoping for this nice little look there It might actually be one of those games that I... Yeah, but I've learned my lesson pre-ordering things. <laughs> Battlefield 2042. What a letdown. I was so looking forward. I was looking forward to that game being good and then... Ugh, egg on my face. Egg all over my face. Cream in my pie, am I right, people? Yeah. Okay, we should be able to complete the quest here. Yeah. Uh, Feebolds. Hello there. Welcome to the stream. Okay. 
completed this quest. Thank you. That's a fair six six k gold right there as well. Okay, now the next day we should buy all accounts. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pie oven where we bake and rise together. Okay. Where you from? How'd you find the stream? What's your favorite part about Stardew Valley? As we talk about Elden Ring. We come to very, very different games. You're from Canada? Greetings! Welcome all the way from Canada. I am South African, so you have found very, very vast differences there. <laughs> Those purple mushrooms help so much. Hail to the king, baby. Thank you, thank you. We're actually pretty close to that 6.2 million. Looking for streams about Stardew Valley? I just got it and played a bit. Okay, but we're like in proper end game, uh, Feebolts. We're doing a year three 100% tutorial uh, where I try and help people beat this game within three in game years. And we're pretty, pretty, pretty close to it. I'm. Not, yeah, Geo Crusher, baby! Okay. Let's go make that thing. Where are you at? Two gold bar, one diamond, 50 stone. Gotcha. What are we going to do? Open the gates. Bring out the wine and festivities. For tonight, we celebrate. Waffle Bear, thank you so much for the raid. Everyone from Waffle Bear's side, my name is Rusty Pylover. Ginger streamer, professional high pitch streamer, Stardew Valley extraordinaire. Hello there, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for sharing your community with me. If you have not hit the follow button, consider doing it. Helps out a great deal. Revenge of spicy dino nuggets. <laughs> Look, that has got to be one of the best usernames I have ever seen. Revenge of the spicy dino nuggets. And Waffle Bear, thank you, thank you for the uh, follow as well. Welcome to the pie oven where we bake and rise together. Spicy, revenge of the spicy dino nuggets. Like I, yeah, that's a username. Revenge of spicy dino nuggets. Check the, what a username. Well, we'll, we'll get nuggets. Oh. Get chicken nuggets today. No, I need. The dance sold it for you? Why, thank you. I appreciate it. Where are you in your current Stardew Valley playthrough? If I may ask, Waffle Bear. Yeah, so we are we are in fairly end game over here. Uh, we needed two gold bars, two gold bars, one diamond and fifty stone. Craft that, get it out the way. Boom, bam, baby. Geo Crusher. That's not particularly helpful, but you know, it's done at least. So, we only have we have the Geo Crusher. We've got all of the build board items. We only need the rare crow, and we only need um to craft the pumpkin lantern now. So basically, we're almost done with crafting every single item, and now we just purely focus on making money. Once every item is crafted, you, uh, you see all those things in here? All those little gems and things? Yeet. Gone. They are not going to be of any use to us. We're just going to sell every single little thing that Stardew Valley has to offer. And that's just basically how this is gonna go. So we're really at like the tail end of the run here. We just need to make another 3.9 million gold. Ah, it's pocket change, just pocket change. <laughs> uh, we're so close. I love his accent. I am from South Africa. A lot of people don't wouldn't know. Fun spell. No, that's right. Uh, uh, no, no, that's not. Accent is with double C. But good try, good try. Oh, we're so close, and yet we're so far away. If I if I was close to 10 million now, and we had all the crafting re recipes, we could have beaten this in fall already. 
But I'm an idiot. What are those things in the basement you had? Those are those are kegs. No, they're not kegs. They are casks. So once you finish building the house, you get a cellar. And the casks are used for either fermenting your cheese, which is a great way of making money, or fermenting your wine, which if you're not going for like a year three type of run, uh, I would highly recommend if you have a wine farm, taking your wine there and fermenting it to the next level because you uh you make a lot of money fermenting wine you you do iridium quality wine can easily give you somewhere in the region of like two million hey there look my sons how you doing you're on year two and what uh, have you finished your community center Waffle bear? Sorry, I'm, I am remember guys, we're in the tail end here, so I'm gonna ask a lot of questions. Uh, Canadian Tyler, what a name. Hello there, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow and welcome yourself to the pie oven where we bake and rice together. Two million for, for whining? Yep. Not that type of whining, I'm talking about wine farming. <laughs> so what happens is, if you get 100 bottles, I believe the basement can get anywhere from... 100 kegs upwards so if you take your wine the only problem with fermenting your wine in the basement is that if you want iridium iridium quality wine it takes two seasons i do mean like if you started at the start of spring you'll only get iridium quality wine at the start of fall now look i'm not being i'm not being funny if you're doing a year three 100% run, it's not worth. It. Let me let me just tell you, it's not worth it because you spent the first year. Um, if you spend the first year um, working on getting all of your resources done, you're never going to be able to do it. I can give a full on line. <laughs> yeah. Listen, wine is great right up until you've had too much of it. Ask Ita, she knows. She had sangria. Oh my god. I was afraid my wife was gonna die. But yeah. Um if you if you go for the for the year three route, I would say base wine is a, is a great way of going with it. Hey there's a little machine, how are you doing? I got a shout out there. If any of my mods are available, I just need like a whole bunch of shoutouts for anybody and all in chat. How, how are you doing, Canadian Tyler? We were talking about wine and why too much wine is bad for you. And I had to use you as an example multiple times. <laughs> Donkey Guess what? Guess what? What? Captain Bar is loose. Yeah, you're gonna be cock drunk, eh? Hey there, Respawn Kitty. Ah. I love those names. Hey, uh, Tessab, how you doing? Or Tessa, how you doing? So yeah, chat, that's, uh, that's where we are. Made of grapes. Yeah, your, your, your poop might be, uh, purple. I f I, listen, if you poop purple, you need to go and see a doctor. So what you're saying is we need for pop. <laughs> it's halfway. It's halfway there. Oh. Oh, fire. Yeah, you'll have to chow it out, right? Thanks for the look there, Waffle Bear. And again, thank you for sharing your community with me. I appreciate it. So yeah, we are basically at the tail end of the run. Uh, we need two more items to craft. Thank you. No, 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 no. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Before you go, Waffle Bear, and this is to everyone in chat, okay? We have a rule here. You don't apologize. Um, you do not have to apologize for lifing, okay? If you need to go and do something, don't apologize. If you need to lurk, if you need to leave the stream, don't apologize. The only time you apologize over here is if you're being a dick. That you're is right. that is that is my only, only, only um squash. 
That is my only uh, thing here is you only apologize if you uh, If you apologize if you excessively apologize it's a five gifted sub penalty those are the rules I don't make them that's just how that's that's just how that works excessive apologizing is a five gifted sub rule so don't apologize excessively all right no If you'll if you'll pay attention to my emotes chat, you'll notice that there's a uh, there's a there's a sorry there, all right, with a, with an X through it, okay? That right there means we don't apologize here unnecessarily. Uh. <laughs> I'm Canadian. So I love I love how I have Canadian viewers, and even Canadian viewers are like, yeah, no, we we. We we apologize as like from the day we're born. Just like it's built into our genes. Yes. I love the fact that Canadian viewers are like that. They're just like, yeah, no, this is this is how it is. Ah, uh, I love that coffee panda. Yeah, chat. So if anyone wants to, um... praise the okay, pie so lord. Your red hair is meaningless. Look, my sons, I need to ask you a question. All right, because I I I feel like you try and poke and prod to get yourself like banned what time is it for us it is 8 43 um 8 8 43 in the morning right now and i'm assuming that it is a ridiculously either early morning or late night for my american slash canadian viewers at the moment yeah i i just like to ask like my sons because you, you you try and poke and prod the cattle here are you trying to get banned are you trying to get timed out are you trying to cause troubles because i'm probably not going to take the bait honestly i will leave it to my mods to decide if they want to time you out or if they want to continue but i'm just asking if you're trying to make trouble try not to do that kind of yeah, it's almost 1 a.m. Oh, good gracious. Y'all need to go get some sleep. This is the only problem with, like, streaming this early in the morning is, um... Is that, uh... Oh, we don't just, uh... We, we don't just ban here. It would take a lot for me to actually ban someone. Um, thanks for the look for Yummy Pop. 44 a.m. <laughs> uh, a lot of a lot of my viewers are either from South Africa or, funny enough, from Canada. Only uh, only problem with like like I said, streaming this early in the morning is you run the risk of like. Oh no no, we've been streaming. I've been streaming since like 7:30, almost 8. Normally normally I stream quite a bit earlier. Uh, I'd move to Canada. Canada is actually such a gorgeous place. I, I wanna I wanna move to Canada. I do. I actually do want to move to Canada. It's like one of the... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Um, Dino Nuggies. I, I, you know what? you got such a great username. Each and every single part of that username is glorious. Um, was minus 50 degrees. You see, the thing is... Don't apologize, like my sins. Not a lot of people notice that I actually am from South Africa, so you wouldn't be the first one. The thing about South Africa is, when it gets hot here, right? Flies, fleas, and bugs love to crawl everywhere. Okay, they love it. And they make life extremely difficult for you until winter comes along. Chat, that's the second sorry. One more sorry and I'm gonna demand five gifted subs. Don't apologize unnecessarily. Why are y'all apologizing unnecessarily? There's no need. Oh, um, ow, oh, ah! See, I'm distracted now. Yesterday was the worst day of my life. Talk to us. Oh. So yeah, um, Canada, I'd love to move to one. Oh, look, I, I love where I live, but we, there's like, we have so many problems in this country at the moment. Not, not worth it at the moment to invest in my country which is sad because like 
We have so many good things going for us, and then... Uh... Ah. Can we get some uh, some love in chat for um for like my son please? I'm sorry to hear that. I am deeply sorry to hear that. It has been a difficult past few years. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, we sent love here. <laughs> the eternal struggle. Yeah, low shedding. And it's back! Back again! Low Channing's back! Don't tell a friend. Actually, tell a friend because... You don't want people suffering that fate. Now, I can I can imagine, like my sins. I would say, honestly, take the time to grieve. Take some time for yourself. Take some time for yourself and your family. Just, um... Try process it. Nah, I'm not just gonna ban you. I... No. I don't know why you want to be banned. I'd rather have minus 50 than in the 40s. I'm actually eligible to move to Cape Town. Look, uh, 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 to Cape Town. Cape Town should become like its own thing. <laughs> Cape Town isn't actually part of South Africa. If Cape Town became its own, own place, can you imagine how many people would move to Cape Town? Call it Cape Rands instead of South African man. I'm not- I don't just ban. You'd have to do something proper serious to get banned. You get a timeout. Some people have gotten timed out. Kaboom! Oh, I hate No! Oh! Go get some shut eye! Cape okay, exists is the thing. Dumb, but it's a thing. I- Whoa! Have a good one, Dino Nuggies. Sleep well. For people that apologize for like no good reason, I swear. I'm so close to completing this run. I'm at that point, chat, where like I want to finish the run so we can get to new content. I want to finish the run so we can get to brand new content, do a good thing, you know. Once we get to the newer content, like if we do get to um, modded stuff, if we get to, uh, I don't know, maybe go back to like playing art or a spell. I want to find something that I can... Ah, uh, the thing is, um... Lick my sins. Just take some time to grieve, grieve through the process, and um, just spend the time with family. Remember the good memories. Those kind. Of oh my word! Really, game? I struggled for so long. I struggled for so long, and this. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Hey! No, get away here. Hey there, Deathwish. How you doing? Long time. Yeah, so I don't know what we're gonna do after Stardew Valley is done, chat. Either modded content. Saved you from a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes are. Ooh, boy. This is. Um. I don't know what's gonna be next for me. Let me, let me be honest with you all here, chat. I don't know. What we're gonna do? What's gonna be after this? If it's gonna be modded content. If I'm gonna be doing, um, I don't know. At an international stock room, wanting to buy 150k in stock last night. Hot damn! You've done it, man. Gotta be careful. No! Uh, okay. Well, that was a mistake. I could have got, I could have farmed up so many resources there. Yeah, we're mostly ready. Uh, Death Wish, we've got a couple of things left to do. Gotta send the music to the DJ. Gotta um, write out the wedding guest list for for the coordinator. 
just gotta find some times when people are gonna come to the actual event and then we're, we're done then um then we just wait for the 25th and if what is buying this hydro fuel making company that will jump 40 percent holy hell 40 percent stock jump what My ex life understands you. Oh my lord. Okay, we gotta be real careful here. Oh, 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 oh. No one can tell me that my sword skills in this game sucks at least. Why? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? But anyway, I needed to come down here, but I mean, anniversary is on 19th Feb, will be 11 years? You're going to add minus? Oh, she. Well, congratulations on 11 years, Deathwish. Congratulations. Like I said, like my son, just take some time to process the hurt. If you need to go to therapy, go to therapy. Um, streamers are not therapists. We, we never will be. Um, uh Okay, we really don't need the prismatic stuff. We need like none of that. Every single little thing here. I'm keeping the iridium for reason. Because iridium things. Yeah, look, being being human chat is tough. Tough being human, not fragile creature. Okay, so Sunday we should get our next wine sesh. So we're just going through the motions now, continuing with what we're doing. We're waiting for pumpkins to grow so that we can craft a little pumpkin thing. It was a nice little thing. It's 2000 gold per prismatic shard, by the way. And no, you cannot make a prismatic shard farm. I would love if I could. You know how easy you could make money here. There you go. A good positive way to look at things. Good positive way to look at things. But yeah, I would love to move to Canada one day in the far future. Nah, it's fine to unload. Just be mindful that some other streamers probably won't do won't do that kind of thing. Our yams are almost done, so that's good. I I'll wait until everything is done. Okay, our pumpkins are not done yet. Move to Canada, become a mushroom farmer. <laughs> I would just move to Canada just purely because of, you know, the opportunities of work there and different types of things that we can do. And at the end of the day, I need to think about the future of my family, potential family. And unfortunately, as much as I love my country, it's not here. It isn't, it's not here. I look like your brother and that's an honor okay cool like i said chat we're just gonna go through the motions of what we're doing um oh so good the family of triplets no i don't want triplets thank you i'm very 50 50 about having kids i'm gonna be straight up honest with you i saw grant and amble grant and jess ask that she be called Jess more now than amble um but i saw them with their baby oh boy those two are tired obviously having kids is exhausting i think i don't think anyone would recommend someone having a child right because kids are exhausting no No, 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 it's, it's not it's not about like the, the spoiling of the child or something. It's like the, the, the infant stages of it, right? Like, I didn't work because I didn't have the money to spoil them. Uh, we always want what's best for our kids, ne? We do. We always want what's best for, for kids. But like, that is an exhausting part of life. And I can I can see it like in Grant and, and uh, Jess's face. They are tired. 
They are tired. I think once your child gets older and they start to understand life a little bit more, then I don't. It's not. It's not going to become easy. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, don't kill me. I have like no food. Maybe I need to use the tomato seeds to eat. I'm mad, okay? <laughs> uh. Yog fan one. Yeah, Yog cast fan? Yog cast is pretty cool. Hello there, welcome to the stream. Ah. Uh. I, I'm tired. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, man. See, chat, this is like the only problem that I have with this particular game is that... My lord. My lord. Yeah, cars fan 1. I'm impressed you knew. I... I love... Uh, I like your cars. Like, back in the day when they were like the thing. Oh, my goodness. Yacht cast was ahead of its time. I will say that much. But then again, I feel like a lot of creators were ahead of their time and, you know, were just not appreciated until later on. That's at least my opinion. I don't know. Had this user um, name since survival. Shadows of um, Ishrafil. Oh. Uh. Yeah, chat, look, to me, a lot of casters or, or, or a lot of creators were ahead of their time. We don't appreciate them until, like, their time is now and then they faded away. Excuse me? Where's my island? Oh, it's 5.30. Never mind. I was about to say, where's my glorious island music? All right, we are going to have to spend a bit of money here. Which is about as standard as you get for Stardew Valley, but it's okay. Oh, we have two items left if you look at it like this there were a few creators ahead of their time you look at yogcast yogcast was doing things that i think a lot of people you know found ahead of its time you look at um ah uh, what were those guys smosh i think smosh was ahead of their time uh i want to say to a point without like sa sounding fanboy thing um I think a few gaming YouTubers were also like ahead of their time. Um, and I've like since like sort of faded into obscurity. Not like obscurity, but they're just there now, you know? You look at like, you look like PewDiePie, he's just, he's there now. He's no longer like the thing. You look at Markiplier, you look at Jack Jacksepticeye. They're there, they're consistently creating, but they're, they're just there now, you know? Back in the day, they were like the thing. I was too young to re Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Smosh was... Uh, when you got the tomato seeds, I imagine William Defoe from Spider-Man being angry when they kick him. How could you do this to me? Do you know how much I've sacrificed? Look, I cannot do William Defoe expressions, okay? That man is a is a national treasure. I don't care who says what. Will William Defoe is a, is a treasure. He's a gem that should be appreciated in our lifetime for generations to come. Uh, I bought a 200 AH battery so I can run a local Minecraft server. Oh, is that a is that a formal invite there, uh, Mike? Is that is that what I hear? Are we doing are we doing RL Craft server? Oh, good lord! I don't know if I can do RL Craft again. Uh, RL Craft is pain. Oh, and and I was watching someone do RL Craft. All you need to do is actually really get flying, and then like kind of cheese the game, and you basically win. You basically win RR Craft if you cheese it, but like I would I would say they have stabilized, because I mean like Jacksepticeye blew up after PewDiePie like did his whole shout out thing. And I mean it's not like Jack doesn't make good content, right? Jack does make great content. Um But I I I think it's like one of those things where a lot of these communities, these bigger communities, have sort of subsided and it's gone back to like um 
you know they've got their communities ingrained and that kind of thing i'm not i'm not hating on them i'm i'm a pretty big fan of markiplier and of jack and all of their work because they they kind of like set the standard for like um you know editing wise and content wise and that kind of thing and to this day they they still make good content you know, it's not like they but like pewdiepie has like faded properly into you no know, i don't want to say obscurity but he's no longer like that um he's no longer like that big benchmark thing and i know a lot of people give him grief i i used to like his content a lot i just think it's just one of those things where He's done everything he needs to, so he doesn't really need to do anything else. What happened to Pewdiepie? He got married? Ah! Uh, I mean, Marcia has stopped YouTubing since, like, what, two, three years ago now? Yeah, no, look, I don't, I don't, I don't like the whole sub to PewDiePie thing. Because let me, let me just explain to you why I don't like that kind of thing, right? It's all fine and well. It's it's like all fine and well doing that that kind of thing. Um, um, but what upset me about that whole charade is everyone was like sub to Pewds because it was like a sub race and that kind of thing, right? How many of those people that subscribe to him actually now go and watch that content? We had so many local content creators and I'm sure everybody felt that way in their communities and their countries that you have a lot of local people that kind of was doing more than what they were doing at the time right that could have used the support but what did everyone do they said they said no we'll, we'll support one person trying to do a thing then helping out our local you know youtubers and streamers and that kind of thing. and like the thing is it's a catch-22 because there were a lot of local people that could have used that kind of support. If the same people rallied behind, let's say, making a smaller YouTuber a little bit bigger, helping pushing out their content out, they too can live their dream. But people didn't do that. You know, they, they, they helped someone who was already established enough to do their own thing. Now, it sounds like I'm jealous, and you're damn fucking right I'm jealous because, like, I could use that kind of support. Now, toxicity aside, <laughs> I feel like the, the the whole situation behind that is you could have used that energy instead of like, you know, pushing an already established human being. You could have helped more people get out there with their own fun. That's at least my opinion, and it's probably a divisive opinion, but that's just how I feel about the entire situation. A virus that happened where PewDiePie lost and encrypted your files and deleted your key. Oh my. I didn't bother. I I said I'm going to continue creating my content. And if people want to watch it, they do. And if they don't, they don't, you know. But at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people got shafted by that kind of propaganda type. I don't know. I don't know. Again, it sounds like I'm just a salty person who didn't get their way and that kind of thing. But I'm thinking of smaller communities, you know. Like, try and get smaller creators out there, because I can guarantee you, I know of a lot of smaller creators who did more with what they had than what, you know, bigger content creators did. Exactly. You see, Yog, <laughs> Yog fan, that's also the camp I'm in. I enjoy, I enjoy people like, like Markiplier, I do, because I feel like Mark still to this day is a pretty genuine person. Um... And that's why I enjoy his content. Um, I feel like sometimes fame gets to a lot of people's heads. It does. It's like only natural. Like your 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 ego. Um, it does. It does get bigger. Like if you do get famous and you do like make it, your your ego does shoot right because you're like, oh man, I'm the bee's knee. Um, but like, there's genuinely a few few creators that are just amazing people in and of themselves right and those are the kind of people i want to support but i've seen more done from smaller creators editing wise youtubing wise content wise um and then i've seen from bigger creators and i'm not throwing bigger creators under the bus they obviously started somewhere no you know what people who laugh when your parents die uh listen 
that. People, remember people laughed at Jack's septic eye when his mom died? He told them off and he disappeared for a very long time. See, see, that's the thing, Mentronian. I, and again, it's not that I want to get big, right? I don't want to get huge to the point where I can't focus on chat because there's just so much going on, right? But I want to get a bigger community so that we can, we can do more things together, right? Jeepers. It's like, it's like a war zone out here in my house, chat. I apologize. My thing has always been... I wanna, I wanna grow so we can reach more people, so that we can do more things together, right? That's always been my thing. It's not about, oh, I want to make all the money in the world, and oh, I want the fame and the fortune and the glory. You know, if I want fame, fortune, and glory, um, let me go and release an album with autotune on, and then I can make like a whole bunch of money and be like, yes, my autotune saved my ass. <laughs> I'm being I'm being facetious obviously I'm being super sarcastic but you know what I mean chat I'm proud you could take a mental break and felt like you could say something without feeling but that's the thing right people people think they can say what they want and get away with it you can't you cannot say things like that and think you can get away with it because one that makes you a dick laughing at someone who's just lost a parental figure makes you an asshole okay and you need to do some very, very, very deep soul searching if you can laugh at someone who lost their parent, okay? I'm just saying, if you laugh at someone who's lost someone near and dear to them, you need to do some serious soul searching. And you should probably get punched in the dick if you had one. No more than 100 viewers at a time unless I watch your buddies. <laughs> That's fair, like that's fair, but I don't think 100 viewers is what you would call famous. Like, 100 viewers is a lot of people, sure, but you get like people... Um, I, I I also get what, what, what Yogfain is saying, right? To me, the thing is, I wanna, I wanna get to that point where we are partner. Um, and we, we, we get to get to more people. So the only reason that I wanna get to like more people, right, is that if we do awareness campaign right it reaches the ears of more people because at the end of the day what i what what i want to do i think those people haven't had a major death in their family and they don't like people yeah but you know what it still it still doesn't give you the right to laugh because guess what right you can laugh at that person's pain but that's someone that they've had their whole life to and that they looked up to and you know that person is gone and i think each and every single one of us in our life has someone of that kind of importance it might not be family but you could have a friend that you consider you know family and then that friend passes now you put yourself in that other person's shoes and you think damn if i lost my best friend like that Am I really going to be laughing? Am I really going to be doing that? I honestly, if, if someone laughed at me when my father died, I, I, I threw a chair at someone. I, I, let me, let me tell you the story. So I was in grade nine, uh, and my father had passed. Um, and it was a tough time. Let me just tell you, it was a, it was a tough, tough, tough time. Um, and my my entire mood changed. Thank you, young fan, for the follow. Welcome to the pie oven, where we bake and throw chairs together. <laughs> and someone was pushing all of my buttons that day. They were. I, I hadn't been to school in like a good two weeks. Um, which I mean, grade nine is not like the worst because you're still. It's still fairly easy work. It's not like ridiculously hard work in grade nine. And this guy was pushing my buttons. He was pushing all my buttons. Now, uh, great show stream. I really appreciate your Thank you, Yog fan. I appreciate you saying those kind words. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. So what happened, chat, was this guy was pushing all my buttons and he was pushing them hard. Let me just tell you, he was throwing me with pieces of um, chalk and and rubber and things like that, and I wasn't happy. Then he said something. It was like. He was like, he said something along the lines of, Oh, you miss your father, how sad. And I was like, I stood up and I grabbed this chair and I was just like, threw the thing at him. Luckily for him, he ducked. 
and he was he just sat there like he just sat there like So I think by all accounts he learned his lesson that day because I was like yeah no mm, yeah don't don't yeah you, you don't want to be pushing these buttons man otherwise you're gonna die today and I think lucky for him I missed because I was angry the teacher escorted me out of the class they were like you know you can't do that kind of thing I'm like say fucking hot man his ass in a glass <laughs> Literally, his ass in a glass, man. Like, shut your mouth, jabroni. Do you even know what I went through? No, you have no clue, so. Uh, chat. I just find, like, it's in bad taste if people do that kind of thing. So, don't do that. Be sympathetic. Don't be an ass hole. You know? Don't, don't be that kind of ass hole. Alright? Don't be that kind of guy. Ba boom, daddy. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're gonna wrap up this week, and then the uh, the internet peoples are here, so stream's gonna go offline just for a tad. Um, I just wanna finish up this week. Been streaming for almost two hours, so this is a good benchmark. Uh, we might stream again tonight uh, for Phasmophobia. You wanna play Phasmophobia, don't you? Unless you don't want to. I promise we won't go to the campsite. How about that? You were not impressed with me. <laughs> the campsite's fun! The campsite's fun! We could go see Jason again. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't do horror, Yog fan. If you, if you look at my description, it says... Rusty Pie Lover, Ginger Streamer, Professional High Pitch Screamer. There's a reason my moniker says Professional High Pitch Screamer. And, hey, another rule. Chat, we have another person saying sorry for no good reason. <laughs> Never ever apologize here for no good reason. That is, that is one of the rules that I have, is there's no need to apologize unless you're being a dick. Yeah, no, Phasmophobia is horror. It is. And the scariest part of that game is not even the ghost. It's everything the damn ghost does. Like the noises in my ear. Oh my word, I hate that. <gasps> I hate the noises in my ear. I really do. Oh my word. Like when you're just chilling there and this ghost is like... Ugh. Like, no, hey, listen. First of all, consent to talk in my ear like that, okay? And second of all, who invited you to this party? No, I, I like playing Phasmophobia when I've got people that I can play with. But that will be the only time. Yeah, exactly. Right there. And that 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 particular scream comes from Ark. And Ark is not even a horror game. Ark is just like, oh no! Oh, it's happening! Oh no, Daddy! Don't do it! Ow! Like that. Just slay out all these mum mummy boys. And then blow them up. must be so sad being in the afterlife and then getting sent there again welcome back Inti. so yeah um if we do end a little bit early today we'll play some phasmophobia tonight um and once again scream our lungs out i say so because it's a habit i feel more comfortable saying sorry than saying something else because i've been known for being an idiot when i try to say something else listen i I, I know how you feel, Yog fan, because I'm the exact same. But I'm trying to make it so that people don't feel they have to apologize for, you know, being themselves, you know? Sometimes being an idiot is endearing. Remember that. That's how I got my fiance, by being an idiot. But you think I'm big brain, um, wrinkly, wrinkly energy the entire time? I can tell you for 500% fact. I'm about as smooth brain as you can get. <laughs> it was a major depressor. Hey, listen. I would highly advise if you aren't, go and see a, um, a therapist because they do help. 
Let me just tell you that. I always thought therapy was like, you know, uh, you don't really need to take it. And like I, like I said, chat, I, I, I speak out of irony because this is how I am. Got me followed home from school. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you just got to be careful about that kind of thing. But hey, listen. Nothing wrong with apologizing. I just try and make sure that people don't apologize unnecessarily. Because you don't. You don't have to apologize. We don't need these prismatic shards. Chat is the thing. We don't need all of these prismatic shards. That's four. That's 8,000 gold I'm sitting on for nothing. We're just waiting to get to Sunday, as you can see. So we can finish up on the week. And uh, we just want to make as much money as possible. Also, these particular truffles, you can, in theory, chat, make a pig farm. And the pig farm will allow you to make quite a bit of money when you play. Them. Um, because truffles at iridium quality actually sell for a ridiculous amount of money. So, don't put off a pig farm, man. Pig farms, beautiful. Goodness. Is it with these people? My farm looks well. It could be better, but like this is just focus. Uh, but known to have them try, uh, back refer me back to me and tell me of their problems oh my goodness then you're not going to the then you're not going to the correct um psychiatrist i wish i could recommend you mine but they're all the way in south africa they were they are really good like they really are i i have had a psychiatrist that helped me you know understand that i was the problem in some situations and that the other people were problems now, yeah, there's such a big stigma that you can basically hurt publicly if you look stupid or old enough. Well, that community needs to sort yourself out real quick. Um, give me a second chat. I just want to quickly sort this. Look at that. Almost 100,000 gold, by the way. And that was just from farming. This mayonnaise, though, at 300 per one. Um... Oh my, hold on. Ah. Ah, ah not pun. Yup. It's called America. I don't, I, you know what the thing is, we, I think mental health is still like a big thing that people just simply don't understand. Ah, oh, Forrest Gump! Ooh. Hey, 6.2 million. There we go. Now look, Forrest Gump is, is something that you have to take with a, uh, a grain of salt, honestly speaking. My child able to stand up. Hey, there we go. Luckily, I don't think great friends requires us to be full friends with the baby. I don't think great friends requires us to be full friends with the baby. I, I hope I didn't just shoot the run in the foot. I really hope that the run didn't just get shot in the foot. Because if I have to be full friends with the baby, it's never going to happen. I'm doubtful though, because I believe great friends does not require the baby to be friendship. But you know what? I'm... For my own sanity's sake, and if I shot the run in the foot, um, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. But I, as far as I remember, baby does not require great friendship uh, to uh, win the run. I think it's only with the, the townspeople, but we're gonna go and verify at uh, Kui, but I believe great friendship <laughs> does not with the baby. I said give me a hell yeah. And at this point, all these, all these uh, tree things, um, all the sap is like, it's basically useless because I've got more than enough wine uh, barrels to kind of sort out the issue that I have here. But um, great, great friendship is a different thing. 
No, bachelors, bachelors and bachelorettes only require eight hearts, and NPCs that are not bachelors and bachelors require ten hearts. So I don't think we need the baby to be maxed out, but just for my own sanity, I'm gonna go and check. We had 6.2 million, which is great. We have a vast selection of redeems, so. The reason we have a vast selection of redeems in T is because there is one redeem called Let Chaos Rain. So I allow people to spam those when chaos is redeemed so that people get the, cha the chaos of the day out. Ooh, daddy. We need to harvest this. Uh, and then go buy more. So I'm about to be under uh, 2.5 mil, but it's okay. And this is how we make money, chat. This is how we make cash go is by starfruit starfruit is a great way of making money in this game starfruit wine will be your be all end all oh thank goodness because if i shot the run in the foot now i would be so mad okay cool oh nice an extra starfruit don't mind if i do just do this I'm gonna come back here because we have to buy more seeds anyway. Yes, ancient fruit is a close second. That's why we've got an ancient fruit farm. But star fruit, um, star fruit. Uh, look, once you've got the warp totems or the warp um, obelisks into, you don't need to worry about like going in between both places. Also, this cock, meh. This needs to stop. Too bad you can't put the golden clock on here. Um, but like starfruit wine is such a good method of actually beating the game that if you get the island farm up as soon as possible you can beat the run within two in-game years now i know that sounds insane because you need rng to be solid on your side but it to beat the game in two years you do not have to beat the skull cavern the only reason you go to the skull cavern is to farm up resources right but if you farm up enough resources you'll be fine um <laughs> well look you can't actually harvest this with the scythe as far as i remember let's see yeah you can't harvest with the scythe <laughs> unfortunately um i will be doing modded runs after this um just to see if we can do a modded run i i believe it'll be a little bit easier but i don't know um just don't sell the star fruit whatever you do brain just don't be you Okay, so how many star fruit do we have in total? That's over 200 plus, so we're gonna have to have over 200 plus seeds when I buy. But you know what? It's worth it. Gotta spend money to make money. That's how it goes. Okay, I'm just gonna plant as much as I can. Then anyway, I need to go back and buy more. Um, I, I like to buy 200 seeds at least, so it's like a good 80,000 gold. So it, it's a, it, you, you gotta spend some money, right? But it's worth, all right? This particular strategy is worth. I'm gonna put my star fruit in here. Whatever mods you use, mine is gonna be over 400 plus more than that. <laughs> you have so many mods. How, uh, did you update your uh, Stardew Valley Expander then, Yog fan? Because Stardew Valley Expander got a new update and apparently there's gonna be a new version coming out. Okay, chat, don't look at it. If you don't look at it directly, it can't hurt you. Yeah, Stardew Valley has so many good mods that it amazes me how this community is not bigger because it's just insane. Oh man, go away. Don't, don't look at it, chat. If you don't look at it directly, I can't hurt you, okay? I can't. Don't look at it directly. I used to be at... at um, Two point something million. Or six point two million. And now it six million one hundred plus thousand. It hurts, chat. It it hurts. Let me just tell you. It hurts. My my wife ref refuses to play vanilla. The mods are just too good. I used to have so much progress on my older save file. <laughs> Well, we're basically almost done with the run, is the thing. We're waiting for winter to come so I can get the last rare crow. I would have been done with crafting, is the thing. I have to go work. Take care, everyone. Have a good one.
Inti, thank you so much. Now, the only problem that I have with star fruit, and it's also my fault because I'm not using speed grow, is that it takes two, two weeks for it to grow, right? So, if you get speed grow, enough speed grow, um, then you'll be able to do this, like, real quick. But speed grow, like, only takes off, like, 10% max. So, 10% of 14 days is really just one day less. One day less does make a difference, but, like, eh. Please tell me I have enough. I don't have enough. Are you kidding me? Did I under buy? We're gonna have to go and buy more. <gasps> oh, oh, how rude. How am I, how am I, how? What, Nani? I was named Sans because Undertale was just so popular. Jeez. I finished vanilla on my own. I've never played vanilla. I basically jumped straight into mods, but then my game broke, so I removed expanded. Expanded does have issues. I will say that. Expanded does have issues. Okay. Was that was more seeds than I wanted to buy, but it's fine. We'll make all that money back. Fairly easy, fairly simple, fairly quickly. And then uh after this week is done, chat, I'm gonna have to end stream. I know it's gonna be a little bit early. I normally stream for like a good four hours. But the thing is, we got internet people waiting on me, actually. So we're going to finish up this day. Finish up the next one. You don't... The, the one thing I don't like about Expanded is that they move the mine. I don't like that. Um, the mines being all the way on the other side, it takes too long to get to them. I know you have the mod where you get more speed. So that kind of counterbalances it. But I don't like Expanded, the fact that... The mines are all the way on the other side. We've got people that are coming to move routers and reconfigure things to hopefully sort out the internet issues that I've been having. Um, I'm hoping it. A lot further than where it is in the middle. And you see, I don't like that because the mine is already a difficult achievement to finish, right? Getting to level 100 of the mines is already a problem in and of itself. Or level 120 and the fact that expanded moved it all the way to the other side of the map makes it difficult so you either have to get the overnight mod where at least you don't get knocked out at 2, 2 a.m um well look I, I i like expanded for what it tried to do and look they they did try and sort out a lot of the issues with expanded is the thing um expanded is a good mod it's just, it breaks a lot of the core of Stardew Valley if you take it away, you know? Ugh, staircases. I love me some staircases. The only reason I'm coming in here, chat, is because we need stone. So I'm just gonna ignore, grab one piece of stone, and then be on my way. <laughs> just one piece of stone, please. That's really all I want. Thank you. There we are, go. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna finish up this day. Um, uh, basically, the thing is, we can we can sleep until the end of winter, but I'm trying to get as much money as possible every single day. So that's why this is a guided playthrough, so that you make money as you go, right? So that we don't just sit and sleep the day away and go. We're solely relying on wine because at the end of the day, we want to win comfortably, not buy a ball hair, okay, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, a mustache hair. A hair. <laughs> I don't I don't want to win just by that. Okay, no, in winter is good. Yep. But I prefer the skull cavern because I farm more resources from the skull cavern than I do from the volcano. I find the volcano's stuff is meh. Um in terms of what the skull cavern can offer you especially when you got like a burglar ring and a, and a luck ring combined you can farm up so much iridium from the skull cavern it's ridiculous it is it's actually ridiculous how much you can farm from the um from the skull cavern i just find that the iridium is just so much more worth than the other stuff because the iridium bars sell for a thousand gold oh uh sell for a thousand gold per piece and I mean, we've already got 25, so that's 25,000. 
Crusader and Bug Killer I like, but I don't like Bug Killer because Bug Killer doesn't really give you that much. Crusader is great and Vampiric is fantastic. Vampiric is fantastic. The sooner you get the, the volcano done, um, the sooner you can get enchantments done. And enchantments are great, but you don't need them to beat the game is the thing. A lot of this is done without like super optimizing what I'm doing, right? I've got a Galaxy Sword base. I haven't bothered to go farm up Galaxy Souls so that I can go and upgrade this to the Infinity Blade. Um, yeah, but the, the, the disappointment about the Bug Killer thing for me is that the Bug Killer doesn't yield great rewards slaying out these bugs. You don't really get anything of noteworthy value slaying out the bugs. We gotta be careful here. I might die if I'm not careful. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down, calm, just stay chill. Okay, um, I had plans to be down here for a long time. That one slime ruined my entire day, so we're just gonna leave. Excuse me? See, this is me having to eat humble pie now. Because I don't have enchant. Is that it, Stardew Valley? Is that it, huh? How rude. But anyway. Um... Male slimes are a pain. And you know what? what's even worse is when you get the slimes that are either black or have the little flower on and you make them mad. <gasps> That's a good way to ruin your day right then and there. That is a fantastic way to ruin your day. It's just like make those, those guys angry and then oh daddy. Okay, I think we're just going to sleep because I've done everything that I can for the day. And this is basically where we, um, where we just chill. Oh my word, those slime. By the way, the hardest, the hardest hitting enemy in this game is actually the Iridium Bats. The Iridium Bats hit so hard, they do like 70 damage a tick. It's ridiculous. That was before even 1.4, yep. <gasps> Alright, last day, best day, last day, best day. Alright, so this is basically going to be the end of week 2. Ooh, nice. A little bit of extra cranberries. Our pumpkins are almost grown, which is nice because then we can make that pumpkin lantern or jack-o-lantern, whatever you want to call it. Hey! Mm. This is also a lot of money, by the way. So we need to make ourselves a torch. We do. We need to make ourselves a torch. And then we need to do that. 1.3 came out with the original save. They added so much to the game. Um... That it's actually insane. I'm not going to bother replanting any crops. And apparently Concerned Ape is working on the next update. Which, you know what? I think Stardew Valley is in a good place where it doesn't need another update. That's at least my opinion. But then again, what do I know? Alright, we need to make two sap, one wood. So, one there. Where's all my sap? Where's all my sap? Two sap. Okay, so we make that. Take one pumpkin. Boom. Now all we need to craft, my dear chat, is the rare crow. And once the rare crow is crafted, we have crafted every single item in the game. So we only need one more item, and then we have crafted everything in the game. Doesn't need another update, honestly. It's already a pain for completionists. <laughs> Almost hate the altar. No, I don't think Stardew Valley needs to update again, if I'm being honest. I think Constant Ape just needs to focus on... Uh, focus? Focused? Focus on... Um, cheap. Uh, focus on Haunted Chocolatier. Give us that. And then just be done with it. Yeah, I agree. Oh, chat... Are you even ready for what we're about to do? Are you are you uh, are your butts prepared for what's about to happen? I don't I don't think your butts are prepared for what's about to happen. I don't think anybody is ready for what's about to happen. Okay? What is about to happen is money train galore. I'm gonna, I, I, you see I already collected 13 bottles of wine there already. That's a lot of that's a lot of money. That's like a good couple of thousand right there and then Actually, I want to duel this up with. Hey there, Dread. I, 
think Stardew brings the most money now. Stardew currently does make him a lot of money. Hey there, little Twitch Witch. I love that name. <laughs> what a name. I love that name. Welcome. I'm actually really glad they went away from Chucklefish being the main publisher. You see, the thing is about Chucklefish being the main publisher, right, is I think Chucklefish had a bad day with, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, that is a top tier name. I love that. If you haven't hit the follow button chat, please do. It does help out a great deal. Um, look, Chucklefish, that's why I'm like slightly iffy about um, Witchbrook. Because I feel like Witchbrook could be great. But because Chucklefish is behind it, I feel like we could have a bit of a problem. So I'm, I'm excited for Witchbrook. But at the same time, I'm a little bit wary of it because I just feel like Chucklefish haven't had the greatest time as of late. So a project that they're kind of leading on that we've had no progress report on, right? They've been very quiet about which. But because it has that whole Stardew Valley type of feel to it, I, 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 I'm kind of hoping that it becomes great. I really do. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you need to be out of the house early. Oh, chat, we might even just be able to sell the ancient fruit just straight. Okay. They basically just abandoned their own game for uh, they first created Starbound. They just gave it to the community, been jamming eastward, and they've been great. I've been jamming. I oh, goodness. Yeah, look, the thing is, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of Chucklefish at the moment. Because um, I just feel like... <sighs> I don't know, chat. I'm hoping that they kind of redeem them. I'm being honest. But I'm, I'm more excited for Haunted Chocolatier. And I'm super excited to see what concerned that in it. I really am. Because apparently there's more emphasis on combat now. There's different types of things you can do with combat. Which, again, like, intrigues me to no end, because combat in Stardew Valley is straightforward, right? You've got a few little things. I think he tried to experiment with, like, um, getting different types of enchantments, which is a great direction for the game. Um, but combat in Stardew Valley is basically, you, it's got to be pixel perfect, right? To actually, like, kill the enemy. You, you know what range hitboxes they are on their pixel range and that kind of thing. I'm going into, like, the nitty-gritty of things, but that's just... I love these kind of games where you can actually dive into the nitty gritties and see what the developer had in mind. But like Stardew Valley, it, it's very straightforward in what it does with combat. It's not like, you know, it's there and then there's nothing to do, you know? <laughs> oh, we're just like gonna have just short of a full, um, shed filled with wine again i can actually sell the the, the the ancient fruit we just don't need it slingshots are good to a point slingshots are fine to a point i feel like slingshots i don't know i feel like slingshots in stardew valley is under underrated and they're just not good unless you use explosive ammo or other things i feel like slingshots i feel like a bow and arrow would have been a better option um, but yeah, I think, yeah. it's, it's really, I, I think it's up to the user what they want to use in terms of that. I'm just going to grab all this fruit. Well, this is all just money we're sitting on yet. All of this is just money. My squish. We're, we're going to go after this. Okay. Uh, I don't like the slingshots because the thing is, how do you use slingshots correctly against like serpents that have a weird pattern, right? The the skulls. How do you how do you use a slingshot properly unless the skulls are like right on top of you, right? I feel like a slingshot is one of the weaker weapons in the game. It's not to say it's a bad weapon, I just think the why use a slingshot when you've got the galaxy hammer or just hammers in general that just you you slam on the ground, it hits two or three times in a wide area. You got the sword that's got the block. And you got the dagger shiv that just multiple strike. And if you get a if you get a shiv with like a ridiculous amount of crit on it, why bother using any other weapon? 
is my question range weapons in stardew valley is something and you know what okay this is a little bit late and i like concerned i doesn't watch my stuff i know that for a fact so i can speak freely <laughs> i love the guy i really do he's a great person he's just he chef's kiss wholesome i've seen him on a couple of streams he's just he's wonderful he really um but for me the thing is internet you've been behaving why you got to do this um no it's okay it was a slight dip fine um the thing for me is oh nice another immunity band the thing for me is study valley could have gone the magic route as well because you're you're talking about like wizards and and um uh we are junimo creatures i love the junimos i wish i had a junimo as a pet you, you you talk about stuff like that right you talk about stuff like that and there's no magic in the game there's like no mana there's no magic you just swing a sword i feel like that might have been a missed opportunity so i'm hoping that in haunted chocolate here we get that kind of thing that we get mana or not so much mana but we get like like spells and enchantments ah Magic will eventually be more fleshed out. Magic has its space in Saudi Valley expanded. Yes, Junimo plushies are not in South Africa, though. We don't get things in South Africa. Concerned Ape! If someone in chat knows Concerned Ape, please tell him we need some merch in South Africa. Come on, don't don't, don't leave us South Africans out. I, I, I tell you what, chat. Okay, let's make a deal here, no. all right? No, 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 no. Let's make a deal here, chat. If I beat this run in three years, we all on Twitter at Concerned Ape say, listen, he's proved it. He's done it. He's he's done the thing. Get some merch in South Africa. He's done it. Last question. We get the butt end of merch. We don't get merch this time. I know, but listen, 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 like, listen. Listen, my squish. Listen. My squish. Hello? My squish. In, um, I think it's Target? Yeah. You literally. You can continue where I left off. Last a whole day of progress due to the shedding of the load. I'm hoping it doesn't hit again. I don't think we're scheduled for today, but okay. Oh, okay. So let us continue. Craft the other. I have not craft. Right, because everything went down. So we'll just uh, quickly do this. All we need. Let's go. Once we get that scarecrow. Beautiful. Okay. We can make this pumpkin lantern. Heh. Uh, uh, uh. Oi, where's my stuff? Heh, where's my wood? No. Okay, one of those. And one of these, and then we're done with that crafting. We need one more. Let's... Oh, I shouldn't have been the coffee. Come on, too late now. It's too late to apologize as well. That's uh, oh boy, I gotta get money real quick. I don't think she looks like that. Oh. So much money just waiting for me. <laughs> so much money. All right. So we're just continuing the recording from last time, but this is a new day. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? It's fine. Morning. I'm doing a little charity event today. If there's anything you can do, donate and use the. Exclamation support Come on, there is a little link 
and uh, feel free to assist in our campaign today. We're going to be running it for the rest of the week until the 14th, I believe. And, uh, whoa. Love doing charity events, cat. I love it. Any little bit of a difference that we can make. If you cannot donate, please share out the stream. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, what are the other ones that people use now? The three. TikTok, you can make a TikTok of it. That'll be a wonderful one. All right. So we're gonna get this day done and then actually stop the recording because this was just a continuation of the other recording the other day i did not stream yesterday because uh i was dead tired <laughs> i was dead tired. i probably should have streamed but i was the bush and uh when you are the bush Hundreds. Focus on the objectives at hand. Huh? Pick up and replace. That's that's our pattern right now. Pick up and replace. I did go replant, right? I can't remember if I went to replant. I did so much stuff that day. And uh, everything was gone. Thanks to the power of everything. Everything I had accomplished and hoped and dreamed of. I love that sound. For those that don't know, in Stardew Valley, that's the sound of money. Wonderful. Yeah, how's everyone's weekend been? What have you been up to? What are you doing? Well, kind of, what are you? I'm not too shabby uh, a haul. Excuse me. How do I get one there and not the others? Lock stock and barreled up. I'll even eat the... You should actually keep the ancient fruit because I don't think we're gonna have a star fruit harvest. Um, this time coming around the next week is a bit of a problem if you ask me. Uh, I just want to, for my own sanity, go check the island. We also need to go check the traveling cards, so let's go do that before I check the island. Because if she has the scarecrow I need, we don't particularly have to wait for winter. We're anyway going to wait for winter because we need to make 10 mil gold. We're not that far off, but we're also not that close. And with week 2 basically being done in Stardew Valley, um, it would make life a little bit simpler. Just not sort of single, not a single rare crow since I've started. Which is a huge problem. Now we kind of have to wait for the winter festivities to happen in game for this to work but you know what it's okay because life goes on yeah? and when life goes on you can't really tackle life straight to the face no 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 you can't what you can do take it on the chin move on forward fight the good fight man i'm being super philosophical for early in the morning it's too early in the morning to be this way how can he how could it be all of this by the way it's just like pure money i just want to craft the final scarecrow once i know we have to craft the final scarecrow we should be gold what i am going to do is i'm going to use my study value uh I'll check it to see if we have not crafted something. I believe we only have one more thing to craft. Don't think we have anything else waiting for us. So at this point, it's just 
it's money waiting for us in those chests and i love it so yeah chat if there's anything that you can support exclamation support is a link in the support one if you'd like to drop a dono share the awareness of the campaign it would be amazing we are doing good things also you'll notice that uh, i have changed my webcam overlay to be a little bit more uh i don't want to say user friendly but a little bit more spacious for our goals and our dreams so there you go i think actually what i need to do is we need to redo this increment thing um give me a sec while i'm while i'm here it does look nice right it does look nice so this is like our big gold 1000 gold pick i don't know do i want to keep it up there did i did i put my new goals down in the about tab for this year? i think i did question mark rules goals yeah i did Puffy Cup giveaway, Funko Pop giveaway, Q&A, TikTok of chat toys, back body. I think I need to like do it that way. What do you think chat? Do we keep the big goal on or do we do the small goal? that it don't play in the background and then chow the the enter notes to the point where i can't do anything right. oh A slammer you say huh no thank you no no get out of here How's everyone doing this fine morning? I know everyone just is probably waking up or is going to wake up later. I was supposed to start like an hour earlier, but I'm exhausted. I'll explain to y'all why I'm... So, yesterday was Keto's bat Bachelorette slash Kitchen Tea. Um, which was an absolute blast, obviously. But they went on to like late yesterday. Out and about, you know. And uh, I had not slept the previous. I think I got like three, four hours sleep. Now the thing is, I couldn't nap because I was designated driver to go pick people up. Um, and even now, we got back home at like one in the morning, something stupid like that, or went to bed at one in the. Morning. We got back at like twelve. Half past twelve, somewhere around there. Then I decided, hey, listen, let's get an early stream in because, honestly speaking, um, ch charity stream aside, I wanna finish Stardew Valley, right? Because I wanna try and get to modded content, but I also wanna change things up a little bit, um, stream-wise, find something brand spanking new to do, um alongside modern study valley but the, but the changes coming to the stream schedule i don't know if i don't want to stream in the evenings but i know for a fact i want to stream something different because i love my morning streams i do I find morning streams to be relaxing i can take it a little bit easier in the evening there is expectancy of me i want to try and like stream five days a week and then Keep the other two days for specifically recording YouTube content, putting it up on YouTube, editing, uh, doing TikTok, those kind of things. That's, that's really the, the idea. Because evening streams for me don't do fantastic. 100%. Because, you know, everyone is busy making dinner, coming from home, wanting to watch, you know, a good old game of rugby. <laughs> those kind of things. Hi! Are you okay? Why aren't you sleeping? Well, I left you. Left. Me. 
Hungry. It's still that pizza. Oh, it has. Yeah. Mm. See, you stuck pepper you. Yeah, what what time your your siblings decided to rock up here and then bug your mom? Mm-hmm. No one communicated anything. It just Huh? Dad. Me. Oh. <laughs> hey, party, party. Party, party. But yeah. Um, coming back to what I was saying. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what like the next big thing is that I want to stream. Um. We, need, we obviously have some stuff that we need to finish, like Resident Evil. Uh, I don't know if I want to stream Phasmophobia a lot more. I, I think I do because I feel that that's just part and parcel of, you know, the whole professional high pitch streamer mon moniker stuff. I know people enjoy me getting my, my butt scared off, so... At the end of the day, chat is what both you and I can enjoy. Uh, I can stream a game, but if you don't like it, it's a whole different story, right? It is a whole different story. Um, um, so, we, we, we have to mutually find, right? Come to a mutual agreement. I want to do like a let's play style of games again, um, something like uh, Bioshock, I think Bioshock would be fun to play. But I don't know if I want to save that for live on stream or for YouTube type content. Well, let's plays on YouTube don't really exist anymore if you think about it. The let's play style of, of gaming is more reserved for like your bigger guys like the Rare Bread. Mark exclusively does horror content, does like nothing else. Besides Uno. But they haven't played Uno in well over a year. Hey there, Brain Man, how you doing? Um So yeah, that's um that's one of the things. I'd love to do like a Uno multiplayer with people, but like to get people to play play Uno is a difficult thing. Because one, not everyone owns um, Al food, and um, the second thing is Uno is also. I don't want to cause rifts between, you know. I don't. I don't want to be the, the the catalyst for wars in and around the content creator community of South Africa and the world, right? Because uh, as we all know. Uno is divisive. And especially when you add the fun rules. Oh man. You slam some fun rules in there. Ah, sevens and zeros. Take away someone's happiness right at the end. Oh man. I love I mean, you know, that's rude. I, I it's not that I love for that kind of anarchy or anything, you know, it's not not that I you know enjoy seeing people suffer. Um <laughs> Oh, that is... You, you didn't hear a thing, chat. Okay. 
You heard nothing. Why couldn't I have this type of floor run the previous time I was doing this? Anyway, I think Uno could be fun, uh, but I'd need people to play it with. So something that we could reserve for like a community night. But again, it would require me to have someone to play. I knew it. Oh, and then crit it out of existence. Mm. So yeah, chat, um, it's one of those things where I'm sitting thinking what, what like the next thing for me is. Skyrim is fun, all good and well, but there's only, only so much of Skyrim you can play before you're like basically done with the game. Um, so I'm looking at like other stuff that's like more story driven, that's got like a whole bunch of stuff to do. I was thinking Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know how many of you would enjoy that, but I've been playing that game offline in my spare time. Just like, you know, me time. And oh my goodness. That game is actually so much fun. That game is actual legitimate fun. I get frustrated because like I suck. Uno has abandoned your house. You guys should get Uno flipped. Uno Flip is amazing. Two-sided deck. Mm -hmm. Chat. If you've ever seen Anarchy, play yourself some Uno Flip. Oh, man. I love it. But then again, I'm I'm an agent of chaos. So. I don't know who invited Casper and his uncles, but like, my goodness, please disappear from my, my, my existence. Okay. You are not even remotely close to being welcome to my That's war talk. Yeah, exactly. Get Uno flip, baby. Get that Uno flip. Mm-hmm. Now, um I don't know if I wanna do let's play styles of streams chat or focus on like more the multiplayer stuff, you know? Um something like uh, I don't know. Valorant um see us go those kinds of things i don't know I, I i don't know i'd like i'd like opinions because at the end of the day i want it to fit my stream but i also want you all to enjoy the type of content that i can do you know oh boy getting late Got luckily we have these so yeah that's where i'm currently sitting i don't know what what to do Storyline focused games are so much fun to play. They are. I, I, I enjoy doing storyline based games. Just purely because there, there's a lot to it. I think there's a lot of interactivity opportunities between chat and myself. Uh, there's a lot of content you can play it a way. And I love something with like a good skill, right? But I don't know what to do. Uh, also, saw this new Yu Gi Oh game that came out. Oh! 840,000. We were supposed to clear 7 million. That's a problem. All right. That is going to do it for week two. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a follow, consider subscribing, all of those standard YouTube stuff. Let me know how far you're on your run. Take care. Bye bye.